Hello and welcome to my review of FTL Faster Than Light. This month's theme is space games and we figured we'd open up the gamut to app games and video games and maybe just looking at the stars and counting them. That's a game, right? Sort of. This thing, I, I hate this thing already. We're done. We're done with this. FTL is a game available on Steam and you can get it on PC and Mac. It is a top-down game where basically you control a ragtag crew of federationalists who are trying to traverse the eight sectors between them and the Federation fleet with a missive about the rebel fleet. I really enjoy this game because it's it, it definitely just gives you that feel like you're playing like Firefly or Star Trek and you're just exploring and encountering enemies and blowing them up and they're boarding your ship or all of a sudden you found this crystallized human inside of a cocoon and you have to take him back to his home dimension and then you get the crystal ship as a, as a thing. I've actually never fully succeeded in taking him back to his home dimension. I usually just use him to kill the rebels like you do. There's missiles and lasers and you know your standard this is my weapon that I'm using to kill things in space. It's, it's fantastic at how diverse it is for such like a simple like top-down this is your ship and you're shooting other ships sort of game. It's generally pretty cheap it's about 10 bucks on Steam right now but during one of their many monthly bi-monthly weekendy sales it'll probably be available I think I got mine for like 250 a while back and it was worth it. It was worth the two dollars and fifty cents. I think I've honestly put about 40 hours into this game but the replay value is through the roof because of all the like ships that you can unlock and different things you can use to blow up things. The other reason why I think this game has such high replayability is because it employs the mechanic of permadeath, which means if you happen to run out of gas or you fly way too close to that supernova, you know, 12 parsecs, too close, or you are blown up by the Rebel Alliance, then you are done. You have to start over from the beginning. And you get your score and your stats and everything, and then you just get a new ship and you're like, all right, doing this again, FTL. You can die immediately in Sector 1 or you get all the way to the, the Rebel final battle and they just obliterate you because you're a single ship against a giant mothership. And it took me like a dozen tries before I even defeated the Rebel mothership and it's it's like so cathartic you're like yes I have squashed the rebels and then you're like wait a minute we usually support the rebels but not in this game you are fighting the rebel scum so go play FTL destroy the rebel scum and enjoy yourself because it's a fun game thanks for watching guys team hypercube out